Welcome again. Right now we're in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 through 33. God's way in marriage. Paul said, Wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ also is the head of the assembly. The assembly here meaning church. Being himself the savior of the body. That is, the members or the people of the church. But as the assembly, or the church, or his people, is subject to Christ, so let the wives also be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the assembly, the church, and gave himself up for it, that he might sanctify it, having cleansed it by the washing of water with the word. How many people have showers and baths every day, but they never have showers or baths in the Word of God every day? That he might present the assembly to himself gloriously, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without defect. How much room does God give to sin here? How many times did God say, well, you're all just human and you're going to make mistakes and you're all sinners. Is there even a hint of that here? That he might present the assembly to himself gloriously, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without defect. Wow. Even so, husbands also ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. But he who loves his own wife loves himself. He who loves his own wife loves himself. For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, even as the Lord also does the assembly. Because we are members of his body, of his flesh and bones. Quote, For this cause a man will leave his father and mother, and will be joined to his wife. Then the two will become one flesh. And that is found in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. The term one flesh doesn't have anything to do with signature on paper. doesn't have anything to do with a certificate or any kind of magical thing that happens. It has to do with literally being one flesh in intimacy. This mystery is great, but I speak concerning Christ and of the assembly the people, the church of God. Nevertheless, each of you must also love his own wife even as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Seek God with all your heart, and you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.